Question 14 is all about quadratics, and we are told that the axis of symmetry of a quadratic function has the equation x equals negative a half, and we're asked to draw that on the following axis. So uh, x equals negative half is going to be along this line here, and we can just label that x equals negative a half. Uh, we're then told that the graph of the quadratic function intersects the x-axis at the point 2, 0. So the point 2, 0 is here, so we can label that n. And then it says there's a second point m at which the graph of the quadratic function intersects the x-axis. Now the key thing you need to recognise here is that uh, if we have a, a quadratic, then it is going to be um, symmetrical about the axis of symmetry, as, as the name would suggest. It is symmetrical about that point. So, uh, if we have here a difference of two and a half uh, units between the x-intercept and the axis of symmetry, then we're also going to have uh, a gap of two and a half units between the axis symmetry and the uh, symmetrical uh, x-intercept. So we can label this point uh, negative 3, 0 as the point m. We are then told the graph of the function has an equation of the form y equals x squared plus bx plus c. So what is important to recognise here is that uh, what well, the coefficient of x squared is 1. So it's a fairly straightforward um, instance of a quadratic here because um, we should be able to interpret intercept form from a quadratic. So uh, intercept form um, is going to take this form and we should be able to read it straight off the, uh, off the graph. So if the intercept is, um, at, if the intercept is um, minus 3, so we've got x equals minus 3. So uh, we can rearrange that and say that x plus 3 equals 0. And that, in effect, is going to be a first bracket. So x plus 3. Similarly, the second bracket, if you have x equals 2, then we can rearrange that to say that x minus 2 equals 0, because 0 is the value of uh, y at that point. So that's, the, that's how we get from the intercept form, or the intercepts to intercept form, but we need it in standard form, so therefore we have got to expand. So if we expand this, we are going to get uh, x squared minus 2x plus 3x minus 6, which is going to give us x squared plus x minus 6. So the value of b and c, therefore... Um, b is equal to 1 and c is equal to minus 6. So uh, now we just need to plot all those key points on the axis in order to graph it. So we've already got the x-intercept, so we know it passes through there. We know it's got to be symmetrical about the axis symmetry. And remember that now that we've got the graph in the standard form, we know that this is the y-intercept, so uh, it needs to pass through this point. So we should have a, uh, a graph that looks something like this.